What's up, guys, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode here on FC24. We are now 26 games into the Serie A season, and as you can see, we have only lost two games all season long. And I know you may be thinking, well, obviously your sliders are set a certain way or you're playing on a lower difficulty. Um, actually, no. Uh, playing on ultimate difficulty, playing on player-based difficulty as well, and then the sliders have been set the same way the entire year. Uh, injury frequency, higher, but besides that, everything is kept the exact same. Um, I know there's been a couple of you asking about the sliders in the comments before, so that's what I'm playing on. Basically, just the player base difficulty and ultimate difficulty is uh, both turned on, and that's kind of how it's a little bit more difficult sometimes, but obviously with this Serie A season, it has proven that it is not quite as difficult sometimes. But then as if you guys haven't checked out some of the previous episodes, uh, Champions League football was not very good for us. Uh, bounced out of the round of, or bounced out of the group stage, Early on in the season, Newcastle just absolutely dominated us. PSG and Dortmund, we were a little bit better against them, but still, you know, we didn't advance through, so we weren't good enough. So now we're in the Europa League, and I will quickly show you uh, where we're at with that. We are about to play our uh, second set of fixtures in the Europa League, a round of 16 matchup against Rangers, which is, again, an opponent that we should be taking care of pretty easily. Last uh, In the preliminary round, we were able to take care of Slavia Praha pretty easily. 7-4 on aggregate. Scoreline's not too close, but there's no way we should have given up four goals. So we're going to have to work on that in this matchup against Rangers, which will be in this episode. First up, we're going to have a game against Lazio, or Latium, I believe is what they're called in this game. And then we'll play Rangers at home. We'll probably simulate this game against Empoli because they are down in like 18th or 19th, I believe. And then we'll get through Rangers again, and then we will likely play the Hellas Verona game as well. And then that'll be the end of the episode, and then we'll be almost to the month of April already. So hopefully we'll be able to get through those five games in this episode. Hopefully nothing else will pop up. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, just before we do, though, I'll show you guys the squad stats, even though they're not loaded properly. But yeah, uh, show you guys the squad stats. Rafael Leal, been our best player by far. Injured in the last episode. Broken toe, out for three months. He was going to miss the rest of the season pretty much. I mean, we might have him for our final couple games at best, but we're going to be missing him a lot. Behind him would be Olivier Giroud with 17 goal contributions. He's kind of lost his starting spot to Jimenez, who has now got eight goals and seven assists in 15 games. I believe most of those are for us. Uh, four goals and six assists in eight games in the Serie A. So he's absolutely dominating that competition. Loftus Cheek up there as well with Po Bega. Po Bega has been an absolutely incredible player for us in the 24 games that he has played in. And then we've got some other players as well. Okafor, Reinders is doing a, a job there in midfield as well. Pulisic has been okay, not great, don't love him. Uh, we brought in Elise, who's been a little bit better than uh, Christian Pulisic for sure. And then we've got some players out on loan. Kind of talked about it at the end of the last episode, so if you didn't uh, get a chance to check that one out, please be sure to go ahead and look at that one. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this game against Lazio and let's try to get a win. It's a pretty decent team that Lazio have, but unfortunately they are sitting down in eighth place currently in the Serie A, so things could be going a little bit better for them. This is the lineup they are going to be going with for this game. So, I mean, it's always going to be a tough test. They're definitely a very formidable opponent, but I think our lineup is a little bit stronger than theirs. We're going to have Pulisic out on that left side, obviously with Leao out, Olise out on the right. Pobega is going to be in midfield instead of Loftus Chig, but besides that, pretty much all of the normal starters we're going to have. So let's get to it. Lise holding up play, going to wait for the run of Calabria. I don't really like our crossing options just yet. I'm going to try to find, I was looking really for Jimenez, not able to find him. Benacer trying to knock that down, but cannot find anybody. Guinduzzi is going to get on a break here a little bit. They continue out to that left side. They have some room. They just push through the middle. Castellanos pushing forward very nicely and going for the shot. Magnan does have to make the save. Ten minutes gone. First action of the game, really. Lazio looking a little bit better than we are. Looks like they're going to take this corner short. We've got two men over there, but nobody can get a foot in. Reinders going for a sliding challenge on the edge of the box. A dangerous tackle. Winduzzi now with it, going for a shot. And Magnan will collect. Novella with a pass to Pellegrini. Lazio been pushing forward very nicely so far in this game. I wish it would give me control of the proper defender. I do not want Calabria, who is on the outside of the player with the ball. That would not really help us very much. Magnan has to make yet another save. It looks like Felipe Anderson picked up an injury earlier, I believe, on the Rinders tackle. Rinders doing well to get a foot in there as well, but not 
good enough, and Castellanos will find the near post. Pass Magnon, 1 0, Lazio. Elise lays that one off inside to Rinders, who has Jimenez with a very, very good pass. Gonna turn this one back around. Look inside for Pobega. Benacer on the edge of the box, gonna go for the shot. Not really a great one. There, Hernandez. I was looking for Pulisic, but he made a move inside, and that's just not what we needed. Halftime here against Lazio, and it's been pretty much all Lazio in this game. Five shots for them versus two for us. 59% possession for them as well. So if we're going to get three points in this game, we're definitely going to have to turn some things around. But I would honestly be okay with a point out of this. I mean, we've got a little bit of a lead up the top. I believe only two points, actually. So it would be preferable to win, but they've been all over us. It's been very difficult to get around them. And as you can see there, getting a tackle in the midfield right off the rip, getting Pass Teo Hernandez. Rovella with a shot. Mignon should have been a little bit more comfortable of a save than it was, but we get it away. Wow, what a pass inside. Castellanos, heavy touch. Finds it back to Felipe Anderson. Trying not to commit a foul and give up a penalty. Cataldi with a pass to Gunduzi. Another pass. And as soon as I made that step, I knew it was going to be a finish for them. 2-0 Lazio, 57 minutes gone. Rovella making some moves around some defenders. <coughs> Pellegrini with a pass inside to Zakani. Ah, just great footwork. It's so the player base difficulty sometimes it's so hard to tell where they are gonna go. 3-0 Lazio, 75 minutes gone. We are getting absolutely destroyed today. And there's just no excuse for it. <coughs> Rinders with a pass to Elise. Elise inside to Jimenez. We might have a pass inside to Pobega. What is that? Jimenez. Oh, man. This game, we just need to erase it from the memory. Nothing has gone our way. And I mean literally nothing. I mean, we... Uh, the press from Lazio has been incredible. We have been unable to make very many passes at all. And then we also can't make any tackles. They're pushing forward now again. Rovella inside to Zakani, who has been probably their best player. Most attack-minded player, at least. And hardest player to tackle. We get one there with Calabria. And we're going to be able to clear it out, but the referee should blow his whistle there. Absolutely abysmal game, especially to start off the episode. 3-0 defeat to Lazio. And I believe before that game, we had either won or drawn our last, like, 14 Serie A games. So we were kind of due for a loss. I wish we wouldn't have, obviously. But still in first place after that game, a point ahead of Inter Milan and a point ahead of Napoli, as well as two points ahead of Roma. So the race at the top, is I mean, it's it's very tight. We are in a four-man race, or a four-team race as of right now. Uh, we have a game coming up against Rangers. We're going to go ahead and get into this one. We are going to change the lineup around just a little bit. Pobega is going to stay in. But Loftus Cheek will get a start. And I believe, uh, yeah, we'll kind of stick with this for now. I'm actually going to play Tarachiano. Tarachiano is probably his name. I'm going to get him a start. And then I'm going to get Tia a start out here as well. Move Tomori over to that right side. And I think we'll stick with this for now. And we'll go with that lineup and get into this game. Rangers have a very decent side and a very, very formidable side, especially for Europa League. I wouldn't be surprised if they give us a very, very tough test here. And you guys saw the lineup we're going to put out, so let's get into this one as well. Corner here for Rangers, 29 minutes gone, almost 30 now. A great cross inside. They get to it first. I don't know why it switched me to a different player. I was on Pulisic, and he was right in front of it. And then they said, no, not, not today. Danilo taking it short, but Elise does well. Dangerous there, but we do get it away. Jimenez. Hitting Teo Hernandez in stride, but Tavernier getting back. Both games today, we have just been absolutely unable to go forward. I don't know what it is, but the press that both teams have been putting on so far in our two games today have been very good. Cantwell laying a ball off to Danilo. And that's a 1-0 lead for Rangers after 45 minutes. Not much happening in this first half, but Rangers have been better than we have. 1,000%, and we just, we're falling apart today in this episode so far. Tamori committed a foul on the edge of the box. T-all trying to, you know, get back to help, but slides in, and Cantwell makes the smart move to go with the pass inside to Danilo, so. 1-0 here at the half, 
Things aren't looking great. Jimenez laying a ball off to Pobega. Pobega. <laughs> oh, man. Things just aren't going well. If we would have laid that ball off sooner, it would have been a fantastic pass. But half the problem we've had today is that we also just can't get the ball off of Rangers. They're going to continue to push forward here. T.R. going to get a fantastic challenge in, though. Our best chance in this game is going to be on counterattacks. Pulisic putting, pushing forward here. Going to look for Jimenez. Actually, a pretty good pass. Lot this cheek. Going for the first time shot. And not able to find a goal. Before this corner, we will go ahead and make a couple of subs. Ryan just is going to come on for Loftus Cheek, and we're going to get Jarrell Hato in defense for T.O. T.O. has actually been really good for us. Uh, we're also going to get on Florenzi for Terracciano. He's just a little bit tired already. Not much stamina for him, I guess. We're sending this one in with Pulisic. Jimenez gets there, but very, very weakly right at the keeper. And we give up a foul in a dangerous area. They're going to send this cross in. Benacera actually gets to it. Wow. I mean, Pulisic absolutely taken out on the edge of the box. Not a foul, but very, very close to being one. If we would have gotten that off. We would have been able to get on the races and on a counterattack. Benacer getting in the way of that pass. It's now or never almost. We've got to move forward quickly. We just can't complete passes. We're, we're falling apart. Elise, yeah, Elise is just, he's not on it today. Coleman, pass inside. Fabio Silva, Tamori deals with it well. What is that pass? That's going to be a penalty. Things are going terribly. I mean, the last episode was so good for us, and this episode has been so bad. I think Benacer escapes the red card, and we get the save with Magnan. Benacer with the yellow. Wow. We are still in this. We can get a, we can get a not a point out of this, but uh, we can stay 1-1 in this fixture. Obviously, we still have a second leg, so we don't have to worry too much just yet, but we're going to have to prove something here. Elise is able to get around his man. We're going to send Jimenez on this run. Don't see many options, though. Jimenez just trying to ball roll inside. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. That will likely be the end of this game. Unless we can get an interception here. But it doesn't look like we are going to. So we're going to go into the second leg. Down one. Going to the away fixture. We'll have to, we'll have to so show some fight for sure. We've got a monthly scout report back after that game from our Italian scout, Umberto Conti. 47 overall, 47 to 63 overall, 72 to 94 potential goalkeeper. We're going to go ahead and sign him up. He looks like he could be decent in the future. And Christian DeLuca here has great overall already, but potential-wise, it doesn't look like he can grow very much. He's already worth 900000 so I'm going to go ahead and sign him up into the squad and just hope that he actually improves. Uh, we've got a pretty decent youth academy now. He is already 62 overall with only 63 to 85 potential, so... I feel like he could definitely grow or continue to grow. So we're going to go ahead and put him on a training plan. We're actually going to switch him to a right winger and go from there. And then we've got a couple down here. I forgot Jansen I signed. I'm not sure if I showed that in the last episode. He looks like he could be a decent striker maybe in the future. So I will go ahead and change him to a striker. And then the goalie here, we will go ahead and put him on a training plan as well. To upgrade his reflexes. The Youth Academy is looking pretty strong there. We've got several players that are decent. Hopefully, maybe later on in this career mode, they will make an appearance. But now we've got this game against Empoli coming up next. This is a game that we will be simulating. We're going to get Elise off and get Chukweze out on that right side. T.O. will come out for Kalulu, and then we will get Calabria back in the back line. We'll go with this lineup for this game, and hopefully these players can get the job done. Impoli, like I said, only on 20 points. Looks like they are down in 18th right now. So a win here should be very easily doable, even if it is through you know a simulation, to say the least. But let's go ahead and get into it. We'll quick sim this game and hopefully get a dub. 2-0 win. We will gladly take it. Kalulu getting a goal, as well as Benacer. Fantastic. Going to go ahead and get into the second leg of this Rangers fixture. Pretty much the same lineup coming out for them. But we have made a couple of changes to our lineup. We're going to get Olise on that right side. Jimenez up top. Pulisic in the middle. I think those were all still the same. Uh, Reinders is going to come in midfield with Lotus Cheek. So no Pobega in the starting lineup for this game. And then we're going to have Kalulu in the back. Down 1-0. We're going to see what these boys are made of. Can they fight back and get a win so that we can move on to the quarterfinals of the Europa League? Let's find out. Reinders down here to Pulisic. Not a bad pass, but not a great one either. 
I'm gonna try to cut this one back real quickly. We find Benacer on the edge of the box. Not a bad effort. Butlin does have to make a save. Pretty much the best shot we've put up against Rangers in these first two games so far, so I'm not mad at it. Fabio Silva inside to Sima. Sima with the shot. Magnan not gonna have to do anything with that one. It goes well wide. Benacer with an excellent pass down to Rinders. Pulisic now with it. Jimenez. Oh, figured we should go for the early shot. Maybe should have sent it across goal to a teammate with a pass, but I thought that whipped shot right there would be the best case scenario for us to get a goal, but just missed. Sima with it down the wing, pushing inside the box, just trying to cut off the cutback pass. Loftus Cheek does well. That will be sent out for a corner early on in this game, still 20 minutes into it. Sima now with it off of the corner, taking it short inside to Angulo. Raskin. Lundstrom. Lundstrom with the shot. Oh, goodness. That is a two goal lead on aggregate. Yikes. I mean, it wasn't even that good of a shot, was it? You got to take another look at it. Manyan, Manyan, Manyan. Mike Manyan. That's one of those ones that I'm talking about where it seems like he should make that save, and he doesn't. Rinders looking over the top. Beautiful pass. Jimenez, great touch. An even better save by Butland. Oh, man. It's going to be difficult to break through this defense and through this goalkeeper, isn't it? Sima, wow, just pushing past all of our players with his rapid pace. Labria getting back, getting a foot to it, but can't get the ball away. We get a block in on that shot, and we're able to get it out. Ridvan Yomaz going for a cross. Calabria getting in the way of it. 35 minutes gone. Oh, it's going to be a handball, actually, by Calabria. So they're going to have a free kick here. Dangerous area. Sending it in. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw Magnan there, but he just didn't look great. We get a pass off to Elise, but good defense by Yomaz. Second half underway here. Hoping to get off to a hot start. Rinders out here to Pulisic. I mean, I was actually going for a cross there. Not really sure what just happened, but it was almost a goal. Sort of, not really. Pulisic, oh, what a great pass through to Teo Hernandez. Does he have his scoring boots on? Nope, not even a little bit. I mean, sends that one so wide, it's not even funny. I am going to take off Jimenez here and bring on Okafor because something's something's got to change in the team. I mean, we're just not, we're not on it right now. We're not. And we're also going to take off Loftus-Cheek here after 61 minutes, bring on Pobega. Pobega's been, you know, our, our clutch man, our man that we go for when we need, the man, the man with the, that we go to when we need a goal. So we're going to go to him now. Pobega looking for Elise over the top. Yeah, we go to him for goals, not necessarily his passing. But he gets a tackle in there. Can he send a pass inside now? Okafor. That's one. We just need one more. We can send this to extra time, and I would be perfectly happy with that. 65 minutes gone. Going to say with a nice pass to Pobega. We've got Okafor here. The angle kind of closed down. Defender did well to get in front of that shot. We do have a corner, though, which we will gladly swing in. I think this might be our first corner of the game. Pobega is almost there. Sima clears it out. Labria down to Olise. We've got men at the back post. What is that attempt by... Oh, Christian, please. Give me something. Just any any time would be great. Okafor is onside. And that is a second goal. And Rangers have a red card? Wait, when did that happen? Okay, I'm thoroughly confused. I don't know when that red card came. And there was a foul on Christian Pulisic in, the, in midfield earlier. But I didn't think it was a red card. I just skipped past it. And Okafor is onside here, so I'm not really sure what's going on right now. But no matter the case, we're we're back in it. We could easily win this now. We don't even have to go to extra time. We could find a third. Okafor was the right man to bring on. They take off Cantwell, which if we end up going to penalties, could hurt them later on, which is what I'm afraid of. Sima. Okay, out for another throw in. Times are tense. Can we stop them from scoring a winner here in the last minute of the game? Called for a foul on the edge of the box. That I don't agree with. Danilo inside. 
Kalulu gets in a tackle. Player falls down. They could have easily called a penalty. But we're going to extra time. Gonna share with a nice pass to Pobega. We have so many more players than them right now in the middle of the field. Okafor with a pass. Rinders. Great touch from Rinders. And a great finish as well. 3 1 here in this game. 3 2 on aggregate. 97 minutes gone. Are we getting bailed out? Are we getting bailed out by the red card? Yes. Yes, we are. More than likely. Do we care that we're getting out that we're getting bailed out by the red card? No, we definitely do not. We are now five minutes into the second half of extra time. And again, we are just afforded so much space. Rinders drags the ball back and scores the fourth of the game for us. We were never worried. We always knew we were going to win, right? Right? We'll go ahead and get a couple more subs in. Kalulu coming off for Tia and Benacer coming off for Yunus Musa right after that goal. Only got to hold on to this lead for eight minutes or so, and we are two goals ahead now. So things should be pretty smooth sailing from here on out. Avenir. Oh, losing possession. We're going to get called for a foul in midfield from Pobega from just a few seconds earlier. But now with less than a minute remaining in extra time, this should be the game sealed and delivered right here for us. Pulisic, we're going to go back over here to Rinders. We're going to go outside of Teo Hernandez, who has still a lot of pace with no time left in the game. And we'll finish this one off 5-1 over Rangers. 5-2 on aggregate. This game, I mean, the scoreline does not suggest how close this game really was. Things broke open after about 70 minutes. And since then, I mean, we've dominated and it hasn't even been close. But the first 70 minutes of this game and the 90 minutes of the last game, Rangers completely outplayed us and outclassed us. Let's see if there's a highlight of that red card because I swear I, I do not remember it happening or at least there being a red card. There was a foul on Christian Pulisic from behind. I mean, it's a pretty bad sliding challenge, so it kind of deserves a red card, and especially from their captain. And I'm perfectly happy that he did that because it really helped us out. Before the 70th minute and before that red card, I mean, we had 11 shots total. We probably had like two shots before that happened. So thank you to whoever that is. Goldson, I believe was his name. And you can see here some of the other fixtures in the Europa League and how they finish. Looks like Stad Rene is going through. Galatasaray getting past Leverkusen is incredible. Athens past Petrolol. Roma past Inter. Liverpool past West Ham. Atalanta beats Panathinaikos, and Sporting beats Freiburg 4-2 on aggregate as well. So a lot of very good teams left. I mean, obviously, if I have the choice of who I would play, it would be Athens out of all those teams. But I'm also down for a challenge and anything to help make the career mode better, Just anything to make it time. more engaging. So we'll see who we get. And this final game of the episode is against Hellas Verona, who are down in 19th. So usually this is a game we would simulate. But I'm going to go ahead and play this one, and I'll probably just show the minimal highlights, like the goals and everything like that. So we'll see how many highlights come from this game. But we'll probably go with a little bit weaker of a squad, maybe not too weak. I think I'm, I'm thinking of starting Jarrell Hato for a game, get him a, a game in there. We'll have Benacer on rest for Yunus Musa to get him some game time. And then, honestly, we're going to start Okafor for this game because he deserves it after that last showing. So I think this is the lineup we'll go with. Maybe we'll get uh, Terracciano in there for Calabria as well at right back. And we'll stick with that. We'll get Chukweze and some other players on in the second half in this game. But, yeah, we'll go with that lineup. Pulisic, oh, laying it off for Okafor. Great pass. Going to look inside for Loftus-Cheek. Another corner early on in this game. We've gotten several shots away, but we cannot find the back of the net. Teo Hernandez. What a header that is. 22 minutes gone. First goal of the game. Elise, wow. Over the top to Pulisic. Nobody in front of him. Can he finish this one off? Nope. But Okafor can. Christian Pulisic, Pulisic, however you say his name, is just not that good. Which is really disappointing because I want him to be. But I mean, seriously, his finishing is terrible. Luckily, Okafor was right there to put it away, though. And we will lead this game 2-0 just before halftime. Henry with a pass inside to Grujic. Absen. Nobody's taking a shot. 81 minutes gone. I mean, 
But they're going to need to start shooting soon. But they will, they refuse to do so. The second half has been mostly them just holding on to possession and just not shooting the ball, which is fine by me. You know, I'm okay with it. Renyan has had to make a few saves in this game and makes yet another one there. And that ball is just going to land out here to Chukweze. Can't find a pass to Jimenez. But to be fair, Jimenez started his run and then stopped, which is typical. Oh, Mignon with another save. Defense has been all out of sorts at times in this game. But Mignon has had a really good game. I mean, he is good sometimes. But to be fair, this is a team that is in 19th in the league. So he should be doing good against them. We might get another goal here. Jimenez will finish it off. 3-0. Three points in the bag. Great way to end the episode, especially after the first two games. Getting a 5-1 win over Rangers, and then a 3-0 win here over Hellas Verona, as well as the 2-0 win over Empoli, but obviously the two league games, those were, those were easy wins and must wins, so happy to have that. And we have created a little bit of a gap for ourselves at the top of the table. Three points over Napoli, four points over Roma, five over Inter and Juventus which is lovely to see. After that, it kind of drops off pretty heavily. Juventus is in fifth, 10 points ahead of sixth place Atalanta. So uh, it's pretty much a five-team five, five team race now for the top four. Uh, obviously, only four of us can get it. But still, any of us could win the title, and any of us could finish in fifth place. So it's very, very tight at the top. You can see the goal difference between all of, our, all of these top five clubs is actually very, very close, which is great to see. I like competition. I like to have a challenge, and I like to see a race at the top. But I would love to finish in first, and that's where we're at right now, which is fantastic for us. Let's see if we have our Europa League draw yet. We are going to be facing Atalanta in the Europa League. Charles de Quetelaire, our player, out on loan to them, and that'll be in the next episode. We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably get through both legs of this fixture in the next episode. So, so if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and please be sure to hit the subscribe button while you're at it. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the My Career tab just to see what it is. Our career earnings is already almost $3 million, so we're pretty rich. Uh, that's nice to see, but 27 wins, 9 draws, 8 losses through 44 games. We are killing it here in our first year at AC Milan. And I hope you guys are enjoying watching the series. I am actually going to leave it on the player stat screen here just so you guys can look at that. I haven't shown it actually in a minute. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like the video, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.